I'm Emma Jenkins. I'm a specialist in contract law, and I've been brought in to work as your agent. I'll be working to get you the best deal in the boardroom, which means you need to do the best possible job out there on the circuit. When you get new contract offers, either from new teams or an amendment to your existing offer, it'll come through me. I'll also keep you up to date on discussions behind the scenes to change your terms or any specific goals that the team has set for you. If a contract offer does come through, I'll present to you the available offers and then you can make the call. I assume that all sounds fine. Well then, good luck this season and I'll catch you later. Well, hello everyone. Um, today's video, we're going to be playing as Nick the Freeze. He was a younger, he was a younger McLaren Yont. Uh, I can't pronounce it. He was a star on the McLaren Yon driver. If you didn't recognise already, so we're going to play as Nick the Freeze on the first episode, and then, yeah, so on. So we're going to play his career through and through. And that includes like F1 2016, 2017, and of course so on, so on until he retires. Welcome to Melbourne, where the practice session is about to start for this weekend's Australian Grand Prix. The pre-race talking is over. Now it's time for the drivers to show their worth. A warm welcome once again to the man standing beside me in the commentary box for this session, Anthony Davidson. Hello, Ant. Excited to get underway? Yeah, absolutely. I always look forward to seeing the cars get out there on track. Uh, they probably won't be on the limit immediately, of course. Uh, we know that one or two of the teams are looking to do some work on new aerodynamic packages, so that always takes some time to get into. But it'll be really interesting to see later on in the session what kind of performance gains are there to be found. So here we are on the McLaren Pits, playing as Nick the Freeze, and of course... We're in the McLaren Honda because you know he's a McLaren young driver for so now. But he's in the F2 in real life, so I just have to make him to become the next Formula 1 World Championship. So we're going to start off with the R&D testing in practice 1. So I do track, uh, track subitizations, I believe. Uh, yeah, we're doing some. But I was just recorded on the first sector and then I recorded onto the final corner. Because even though we're, we're practice all over the Australian Grand Prix because we're doing pretty, pretty well in the Australian Grand Prix. As you know, it's my home favourite already. Uh, it's my home favourite, hometown favourite. So it's my hometown, the Australian Grand Prix in Albert Park. Uh, as you can see, uh, the three set the fast star and he beat everything and completes the first R&D testing. 225, but as soon as uh, we come exit of the second corner, uh, we crash, and uh, man, my wheels so not good already. So now we're gonna do tire management on in still, you know, and we put up softs because you know the softs are pretty good already. As you can see, right in front of me, it's Pascal Verline, the rookie of the year, is now right in front of me. So, I, I got ahead of, so right now, I'm behind Pascal Werner and I'm ahead of Sebastian Vettel. By the way, Sebastian Vettel was right behind me. So as you can see on the mirrors, if you can see on my left and the right mirrors, so as you can see pa uh, Sebastian Vettel already, ignore all what just happened already, and Pascal Verline. He kind of he kind of blocks my way, so he should let me through for some now. So I couldn't I didn't deserve it already being blocked already. And then Sebastian Vettel was just coming right behind me, and he thought it was like oh, I just wish I could let him through to save my tires already. And I thought nope, we'll have none of it, Sebastian Vettel. I have to defend off already for Sebastian Vettel. I was just trying to go for the inside, but he kind of blocks me, so I have to straight off corner cutting. And, uh, kind of, uh, kind of deserves me um, getting myself a penalty. Is that corner cutting? Or am I, am I a stupid idiot for some reason? Because I was being an idiot, just, uh, corner cuts already. So anyway, Nick the Freeze already coming towards the final two corners. And into the DRS straight. And coming across the line, Rich Filmix 
DRS and coming across the line, he, he, he's on red because um, the tire management is so bad already. Now coming towards lap 5 in the R&D testing, there's a yellow flag up ahead. And I believe uh, that is the... Uh, I'm not sure, we're coming in the exit of that corner, and that's Nico Hulkenberg in the Force India. What happened to Nico Hulkenberg already? I think I my guess already. Another, another, another crash already, because I'm my safest for now. So anyway, we failed the time management, but now we're going to do the qualifying pace for the final time. And the team management was doing pretty well, because... Um, 20 out of 25, but we've still got one more left already, and there's the qualifying pace. So, off to the track we go, and coming across the line, because this is the first lap already. So I'll show you the, the first sectors already, and this is my first lap in the Q, in, in the Q1. This is the first lap in the R&D tester with the super soft tires. So here it goes, coming towards the straights already. And coming towards turn three and four will be coming up soon. And um, there, there is the one of the another four senior. That's Sergio Perez. And coming towards the uh, the final finals, we we finished the the first sectors. So now I'm going to show you the final corner right now. So here it is. So onto the final corner. We opened up a DRS straight. We only four tenths up. Then we got dropped down to. Three tenths up, so and we go ninth. We got ninth, and we're still fastest, so still doesn't matter. And now we have to beat ninth already, and we're ninth. If we beat our target time, and now we're two tenths up, and we get a good exit off that corner, and we're four tenths up across the line, and we go seventh. And to me, this one, this is one of my perfect lap time of all time already. Now into the long straight already on lap three, and I kind of notice already we passed the qualifying pace already. So I got 25 out of 25. I passed the qualifying pace. I failed the tire management, and I passed the t the track accusation. So pretty much faster set the three tick. Clean lap tick, top speed tick, safe uh, fuel saving tick, and <laughs> chain five corners. So, cha ching. So, yeah, and look at that. First place, Sergio Perez. But as you can see on that one, on the best, he's got five place group penalty. And why has he got 35 seconds? Why has he got 35 seconds? Is that his best time? 30. 5.4 set are you serious and he's got a five place grip penalty Sergio Perez because he could collide with Nico Hawkberg so that's kind of disappointing team radio why is Perez doing why is slowing down he just slows down to crash me out okay Perez uh, we got a five place grip penalty for collision with Nico Hawkberg why did I get a five place grip penalty? Because you collided with Nico Hulkenberg. I was slowing down. Well, I'm sorry, you got a five place grip penalty. So that kind of disappointed. Sergio Perez has got a five place grip penalty by colliding with Nico Hulkenberg. And that's why Nico Hulkenberg got DNNF. So I'll hand over to Chris and we'll talk later. Good to meet you at last. My name's Chris, and I'll be working with you as your Chief of Vehicle Development. It'll be my job to get your feedback as a driver, and to direct our upgrade design in the areas that you feel are most lacking. At each Grand Prix, we can run a series of practice programs and log the performance of the car as you drive it at its limit. This gives us data that we can utilize to develop various performance improvements. In order for me to know which upgrades to prioritize, I'll need you to select a development area that you'd like us to focus on. And you can do that in the R&D section of your laptop. Anyway, that's all for now. But I'll keep you up to date, okay? I'll see you soon. 
Right, so that's Chris talking about my R&D, and we have some like upgrades already, so we're going to head over to my laptop, and we have decided, uh, we have five choices already, we have engine, fuel, weight, downforce, and drag, so I decided, uh, you know what, we should go with engine, and why not, we're going to have a go until the Bahrain Grand Prix, so I head over to the qualifying, and here are some qualifying results. Qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. Watching some of the cars attack the high speed corners, it occurred to me that this might be one of the more awkward tracks to prepare a car for. Do you go for top speed over grip, or do you look to maximize performance in all the corners? It's easy to make your car quick in a straight line, you just take all the downforce off. But when it comes to a track like this, you really need a bit more of a compromise. The main focus here is carrying speed through the fast flowing corners, but you still don't want to be a sitting duck on the straight. So here we are in Q1 already. So we're starting our first flying lap with the soft tires because right now we have to start with the soft because I have to save and save enough tires to get through to Q2 already. Basically, we on lap one, we passed Danny Kvyat, and on the final corner, we open up a DRS. Ricardo at his home Grand Prix got 1 minute and 27.2. I got a 1 minute and 28.0. So a perfect timing on the 28th. And right now on lap 2, we got blocked by Esteban Gutierrez in the house. So that's really going to be illegal for this one now. So that should be a blue flag already. So we're now on to the final two corners on lap number 2 with those soft tyres already. And Along to the DRS, uh, we're kind of going to cross the line, and I think we're onto the delta time, and we dropped the 16 hundredths of a second. So we lost a bit of time already, and then lap three, and I thought to myself, you know what? It screwed those softs. So we go to the super soft on the first one, and we're doing a one shot with the super softs in Q1. So hopefully, hopefully we get through to Q2. Along with uh, some other drivers who was like tougher than uh, the rest of the ones. As you can see, the yellow flags up there um, in this one, that's rear Harianto slowing down and still yellow flags. I was in the middle of it. I was in the middle of doing a one shot qualifying on the Super Softs in Q1. So Harianto should not be in that F1 for this one now because I know in Hungary. In real life, he he, he destroyed himself already and not going to be racing in the Formula 1 through the next seasons. Unless if he comes and just race, he can do something pretty, pretty good job already. Let's see what Rio Hermianto can do in the, the F2 or the F3. I'm not quite sure where he was in real life, but I'll, I'll know this already. So anyway, we're coming towards already, we're 8 tenths up, as you can see on my delta. We're 8 tenths up, and we're still in 10th. We dropped down 5 tenths, and we're now going back to 6 tenths, sorry. And Rosberg set the fastest lap of the race in Q1. So, that reminds me of the, that reminds me of the, the qualifying between, um, <laughs> That kind of reminds me of the the, the every Grand, every Grand Prix of the qualifiers where someone set the fastest laps. They always done that. And at the end of Q1, we fin we end up in fifth place, and we're in the top five already. But the the drivers are out of the race are Julian Parber, Marcus Ericsson, Kevin Magnussen, Felipe Nasser, Pascal Verlein, and Rio Harianto are out in Q1. So we're now we move on to Q2 right now. And we're on the old super soft since in Q1. We use that super soft in Q1, so we use this old super soft in Q1. Now into the final uh, final corner, wrapping up the DRS. Rosberg set a 1 minute and 26.5. I set up a 1 minute and 27.8, so not too bad already. Still, but I managed to get myself a good good chance already. But right now, on to the final corner on lap number two in Q2. We've got fastest already, 1 minute 27.6, and we have to get rid of those old Supersofts and enter the new Supersoft tires. And this is the one-shot qualifying, 
With five minutes remaining in Q2, we're in ninth already. Perez is in tenth. Alonso is in eighth. So right now, we have to out-qualify my teammate Fernando Alonso, as known as uh, Nick DeFries already, was um was the driver already in the McLaren. And Alonso will be his teammate, while Jensen Button will be announced to retire in 2015 already. So that's probably going to be a shame for Jensen Button already. I'm sorry, Jensen Button, if you're there in real life, I have to remove you because I'm. I know you. I know you've been racing a long, longer than Fernando. So, so I'm sorry. If I presume this already, so I have to. I have to give uh, Nick De Vries a go already because I wish you can do it all the best already, Jensen. And keep up the good work. Meanwhile, and also for someone, Nick DeFries has three tenths up with this uh, on the old super softs with the one minute twenty seven point six. We're on the new super softs, and we haven't used that super softs in Q two already. So right now, we're gonna use this su uh, new super softs until the end. So we're only three and a half seconds, uh, three and a half minutes left. There's my teammate coming into the pits. With only three and a half minutes remaining, and we're coming towards the final two corners. Alonso, you should not go into the pits already. That's kind of that's kind of qualifying with rules. Qualifying rules, and you know what to do already. And we go a bit faster, and we go to eighth position. We dropped down to eight, but it doesn't matter. We got through to Q3, and the top, like in 16th and 11th. Uh, Sergio Perez, he's got a grip penalty. Carlos Sainz, Roman Grosjean, Sebastian Vettel. He's out of Q2. Then Daniel Kvyat and Esteban Gutierrez. And also, of course already, Sergio Perez has got a 5th place grip penalty. Thanks to that collusion with Nico Hulkenberg in practice. So right now, we're coming towards Q3. And we're on the new super soft tyres. So we're coming towards the first lap on the new super soft tires because I thought to myself oh can I use this old ones and I said nah let's use the new one and right now we're coming towards the final corner Hamilton says the 1 minute 26 a perfect time and we got 1 minute and 27 behind Verstappen but ahead of Alonso so another lap ready and we're on lap number two already Bottas is in fifth and we're nowhere near and Massa however is in seventh so we need to get multiple, multiple points already, or multiple things to try and save myself, but not going to start behind uh, Fernando Alonso. We're now starting 8th. We're finishing 8th in Q3. So this is the, the top 10 already for someone now. Lewis Hamilton starts from pole, then Nico Rosberg, Daniel Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, the two Mercedes are in the front row, two Ripples are in the second row, then Massa, Raikkonen, Bottas, and of course, Nick De Vries as a driver, Nico Hulkenberg, and of course, Fernando Alonso runs up the top 10. So now we got the resource points already, and we're nowhere near it because we passed the Q1, 2, and 3, and then we get more points already. And it comes to the rivalry update. We beat our qual we our qualify my teammate, Dan uh, Fernando Alonso, and now we're leading in the, the rivalry. So right now. We're coming to the driver positions. Uh, we're now, we're now moving up two plots, and now we're still. Let's see what Angel's hey, up to. I have some information on the race goals. You should keep in mind. So right now we have to finish at the 11th position or higher. Beat Fernando Alonso, and the driver's target is 13th or higher. So right now we're gonna do this one now, and now. We're going to head over to my laptop, check up the update already and what's going on already. Tire update in Q3, we already noticed this already. And now let's head over to the race. Even a second is an eternity in Formula One, so going four winter months with no racing at all has seemed a very long time indeed. We're back though in Melbourne, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria, where the drivers have 16 corners 
and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. I'm joined today in the commentary box as I will be throughout this season by a great racing driver, a former F1 competitor, man who was world champion once upon a time as well and an all-round top chap. It's the one and only Anthony Davidson. And tell me, here we are, first Grand Prix of the season, the first time racing these cars. So what are the big questions that need to be answered here, in your view? First of all, Crofty, and thanks for the glowing introduction. I just want to say it's a real privilege to be here, and I can't wait to see what this competitive field has in store for us this season. Now, to answer your question, obviously there's the question of performance in race trim, but really this is going to be all about reliability. It's the first Grand Prix of the season, don't forget. You're pushing all your new components to their limits. Formula One cars are full of very sophisticated, but also very sensitive technology. So the most important thing today is to get to the end of the race, keep everything in good condition, and try to stay out of trouble while you're at it. We've qualified above where we expect it to be, so try your best to hold on to this position in the race. So here we are on the grid. Starting in 8th position right now, just behind Valtteri Bottas and ahead of Nico Hülkenberg. And I'm going to show you the, um, the, the tire wears, the tire, the high tire management already will be doing, started on softs and end up with the mediums already. So here are the grips for all those things already. So Lewis Hamilton starts from pole with Nico Ross, but the two Mercedes are starting in the front row and Red Bull are starting in the second row, but Ricardo has got ahead of Max Verstappen. Then Felipe Massa starts with Kimi Raikkonen. Then Valtteri Bottas and Nick De Vries will be starting. Then Nico Hulkberg and Alonso will be starting. Perez and, of course, Rojan. Vettel and, of course, Kvyat. Gutierrez and, of course, Perez are starting. Palmer and, of course, Ericsson. And then Kevin Magnussen, Nasa, Pascal Verlein and Rio Hermianto completes the grid. So right now, we're headed to the grid right now, and it's time for the race. Here we go, first one, we've got five, three, two, four, five lights for the Australian Grand Prix for round number one. And it's like sound, and the way we go, it looks like Bottas has got a shocking start. And so does Max Verstappen. Massa is going to do a fantastic start already, and coming towards turn one. Mass attacks! Verstappen coming towards turn one. There's a yellow flag down towards turn one and nearly turn two. And we uh, we have the safety car on the first lap. Why are we saying first lap on it? Are you serious? And right now we're coming towards the end of that. Well, the end of the, the lap number one because it's the safety car period. And we're coming towards the safety car and. Massa breaks quite early, so I have to watch out so I don't have to get brake checked on Massa for that one now. So right now, we're going to show the replay already. Here's Max Verstappen's point of views. Five lights and away we go. He starts from fourth. A terrible start, and Massa's got a fantastic start. Starting from fifth position, and it looks like... I think Max Verstappen touched uh, Felipe Massa's side pods. And that caused a safety car already. So we're on board with Max Verstappen, uh, not Max Verstappen, Felipe Massa, the Brazilian Williams driver. He's, he's got a fantastic start on the third row in the grid. It was side by side. He's in the Red Bull sandwich. And he's got tagged and... And he's got touched by Ricardo for that one. Here's uh, Raikkonen's point of views already. So here we go. Five lights and away we go. And Raikkonen's got a fantastic start already. He's also he's also behind Felipe Massa already. And there uh Max Verstappen spun and it looks like someone hit Max Verstappen wrong. Grosjean, so here's Grosjean, he's starting he's starting in the th I'm trying to get that one right, but it's not the fourth or the fifth. He's in the sixth row and it's got collided with Max Verstappen and now he moves himself instead of 5th, 6th, 7th he now moves to 8th position 
And right now on lap number four, safety car comes in in this lap. And right now, Hamilton takes the lead, followed by his teammate Nico Rosberg. Then Daniel Ricciardo, the home favourite of the Australian, Felipe Massa, myself also known as Nick De Vries, Max Verstappen in sixth, Kimi Raikkonen in seventh, Roman Grosjean, and of course already he's in eighth position for this one now. And I don't know the rest already, so it's one of the Torossos is in ninth, and I believe that is one of the Haas. I think that is Esteban Gutierrez, I believe. He's in the, that is Esteban Gutierrez, and I believe that's Sergio Perez in ninth. So safety car comes in with green flag right now. Hamilton's got a fabulous, fabulous move from the lead already. If we go to our point of views already, if you're looking at mine, we're coming towards Felipe Massa. We're going round the inside of the Brazilian driver, and it looks like we've moved into P4 already. And if we look at the bottom left, here comes Kevin Matheson passing Pascal Verlein, I believe that was. And I believe that in 21st position is going to be Felipe Massa in 22nd already. He's going to be no longer to be last. He's passed Pascal Verlein for no longer to be last place already. And then we move on to lap number 6 already. We're closing on Daniel Ricciardo in the Red Bull because we're in the Red Bull sandwich because Max Verstappen is behind me and Ricardo is ahead of me so uh, we run wide in towards turn 5 at the exit of turn 5 because we've got a terrible exit and we have no chance of ready for this one now as you can see behind us already you see Sebastian Vettel is behind my teammate Fernando Alonso so this changes everything so this is like the formal rivalries Raikkonen and of not not Raikkonen, Alonso and of course Vettel. As you see, back in 2010, 11, and 12, or 13, and of course 14th, Vettel is on the Red Bull, and right uh, Alonso is on the Ferrari. So that means Vettel has moved Ferrari because Fernando just left, and of course Fernando left Ferrari and moved to Williams. Red Bull. Red Bull have no chance for Sebastian Vettel to get back in the position of the Red Bull racing team. And Daniel Ricciardo just beat the heck in la in last two years already. And when I said last two years, it's 2014 already. Not last four. The two years. What I, I, sa I said it was 2014 already. So, well, it's in 2013. And the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix was that one. So, it's the last four years. Not, not the last four years. The last two years already. As you can see, right there, on the few seconds left already, as you can see, uh, I believe that's Nico Hulkenberg got past Serge, I think that's Carlos Sainz already, and there's uh, the, the Williams of Felipe Massa already, there's Esteban Gutierrez, Alonso, Vettel, and of course Perez. Danny Kvyat is caught up with the back markers. That's kind of strange already, and of course, Sebastian Vettel has come into the pits already, a quick early stop already because he's on the super soft but he's not alone already because he's got Roman Grosjean and of course another one was the manor was also coming into the pits well meanwhile right on the front already as you can see the two silver arrows of Rosberg and of course Hamilton Hamilton takes the lead Rosberg is going to go for the inside line of the British driver and of course the two silver arrows will go on after it again we're on board with uh, Ro Rosberg, and we're going to check up on Hamilton. There he is. Hamilton has dropped down because Nico Rosberg passed Lewis Hamilton. And I think that was the DRS already, because I think the DRS has been enabled already. There is Daniel Ricciardo in the background, and there's Nick De Vries already in fourth position. He wants to be in the podium on his debut race, but it's no longer for this one now. Lewis Hamilton goes for the battle against Nico Rosberg and there is Nick De Vries we're on, we're on go with uh, Nick De Vries already and it comes towards the chicane he's doing pretty well already in the McLaren debut for so now and this is a wrong ball with Lewis Hamilton this is the lap later and Lewis Hamilton goes round the outside with those soft tires passing Nico Rosberg and this is for the lead of the race already 
and that puts Lewis Hamilton into P1 and Rosberg however is furating after losing position to Lewis Hamilton and meanwhile Rumble with our point of views already, Nick the Freeze already, he's as you can notice already, we're on lap number 10 and we're losing to Daniel Ricciardo. So that's kind of disappointed of uh, the young Dutchman already, Nick the Freeze already, and of course Max Verstappen was right behind me. And I believe already he was slowing. I don't understand why is Max Verstappen slowing down and not catch up Nick the Freeze already. So we're on lap later. We're still not getting pressure against Daniel Ricciardo for so now. As you can see, Nick DeFries already coming towards, and of course already, we're on lap number 12 already. Hamilton has come into the pits. I have to come into the pit because my left front tire is orange already. So it's time already to come into the pits to put up a new set of medium tires. And also Daniel Ricciardo too. Don't forget Daniel Ricciardo is in the pits. And some of the drivers may got to come into the pits because here it comes ourselves, also known as Nick DeFries already, come into the pits, Daniel Ricciardo is right ahead of me, and right now, here's my teammate coming across the line, it's Fernando Alonso, Nick DeFries' teammate already, and here it comes already, they're going to have a ding-dong battle going on, here it comes, with a little, little, little <laughs> messed up already, here comes Fernando Alonso with the slipstream of Daniel Ricciardo, Ricciardo, in the Red Bull, Fernando Alonso in the McLaren Honda. Even though it's already, we have upgrade for the McLaren Honda. So that means we're going to get ahead of them, right? We're going to ahead of my teammate, Fernando Alonso, already. Here comes Fernando. And I believe he's nowhere near it. He turned into me. And I believe we have, we went sideways, touched his side pod. And I believe he touched my side pod. So a couple seconds later. And this is the other flag. Dino Ricardo has had an engine failure. He's right in front of me. He was right in front of me before this one. And now we have our virtual safety car on lap number 13. And even though it's already Rosberg, and of course, of course, Max Verstappen, and of course, France with Bottas have both jumped us on the virtual safety car because they went in the pit on the virtual safety car lap because. Because uh, Ricardo's engine failure, that's probably disappointed for the Australian fans already, and it's probably disappointed already for the Red Bull Racing already. As soon as lap number 14, we're on the final two corners, and as you can see right behind me is Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi Raikkonen, the Finland there. I got Finland sandwich already. Finland already this one, fourth and sixth already. Because I'm in the. Finland sandwich already because Valtteri Bottas is ahead of me and Raikkonen is ahead uh, behind me already so Raikkonen wants to piss off me to try to overtake me and to beat his fellow guy Valtteri Bottas and soon as this one my engineer tells me he has a problem so Raikkonen has a problem for that one so that means Raikkonen is nowhere to get overtaken already. So if you can move a couple laps later, there it is. You can see there's Kimi Raikkonen in the background. He's nowhere near. He's nowhere near me. So he is losing some times already against me. And he's losing the time already because the engineer just said already a couple laps later or a couple of laps ago already. He just told me that Kimi Raikkonen has a problem already. So that means... Um, we're nowhere near it um, to have a battle with Kimi Raikkonen. And there's Valtteri Bottas. We're trying to catch him up. And this is for whatever position number four. Thought of number four because Ricardo is retiring already. And a couple of seconds later, and right behind us, as you can see, Sebastian Vettel has caught up with the bad markers of Felipe Nasser. And he's going to overtake him around the outside. A fantastic overtake by the fellow German in the Ferrari, in the Italian car. And I'm pretty sure Sebastian Vettel will deserve to get a driver of the day. Because he got caught up with the bat markers already. And he has no chance. You can see we're on board with Esteban Gutierrez. Trying to overtake Pascal Verlein on his rookie debut. As you can see, right in front of Gutierrez. And of course, Verlein, Verlein has no way chance already. Because Gutierrez already has passed Grosjean. Uh, Grosjean. 
the front line. As you see, Grosjean has passed pa uh, Marcus Ericsson. And that's not Philippe Nasser, because Philippe Nasser is has got red colours on his helmet. Marcus Ericsson has got a blue and yellow helmet, because it, it colours with the Sauber colour. And he knows Sebastian Vettel is going to get caught up with a, a, a manner driver of Pascal Verlein. And as you can see, check out some of those drivers already who's, who never who got a battle already. Rio Harianto came into the pits along with uh, Kevin Magnussen and of course Johnny Palmer is in 21st already. But it's not 22nd because Ricardo's got an engine failure. And here it comes already. Pascal Verlein is defending Sebastian Vettel again. Ferrari power versus Mercedes power. So this is a huge shot at the moment already. Can Sebastian Vettel go trying to overtake when he did to Felipe Nasser? No, he can't. Pascal Vettel shuts the door on Sebastian Vettel and is nowhere nearer to overtake the bat marker. And Pascal Vettel just say, stop that. You're not going to get overtaken by me. Uh, you're not going to get overtaken for me. And you, we're going to have no chance already. And you know what? All the bat markers, and that includes Felipe Nazza, has come into the pits. Roman Grosjean did have came into the pits because he already he already been to the pits before. Because you notice already, because he already done it. And a couple of laps later, Kimi Raikkonen came into the pits. And it's something weird already between Kimi Raikkonen already. Some Ferrari, some Ferrari parts are having a bit of a damage already. Does he have a front wing damage? After got a collision with Max Verstappen on lap number one, he didn't collide it. Here comes Sergio Perez. And remember the last time in qualifying, he started 16th position and passed the Scuderia Ferrari off Kimi Räikkönen. And now he's going to try to catch up his fellow, another Scuderia Ferrari driver, and that's Sebastian Vettel. There is Grosjean. There is Carl, uh, Carlos Sainz. Right? Daniel Kvyat is right there. As you can see, a couple of laps later, this is Julian Palmer passing Marcus Ericsson already. I have no idea what position it was because that was the no points position already. Here comes another pat. Here's another one already. Another rookie already. Julian Palmer passed Marcus Ericsson, and now Pascal Verlein passing passing Marcus Ericsson, and now he's caught up right at the back of. Yes, <laughs> did you notice already? Another half driver is. Esteban Gutierrez is not Esteban Ocon because Ocon is in next season already. Because when I'm going to play F1 2017, I'm going to play career mode and I'm going to go for the PS4 first and then go for the PC. And this is why we go for this one now. Here comes Esteban Gutierrez round the outside of Marcus Ericsson and he got it. Nearly at the chicane and Marcus Ericsson get the job done. And he's so good already. Now Pascal Verlein. This is the rookies battle already on the on their debut already. Here comes Pascal Verlein. He's gonna get blocked on a Julian Palmer already, the British driver in a Renault, and the German driver, which is Pascal Verlein, past uh, past Julian Palmer. And this is Esteban Gutierrez trying to get the power straight. The Ferrari power is going for it. Here comes the Ferrari power on the Renault power and here it comes round the inside goes Esteban Gutierrez on Julian Palmer and Esteban Gutierrez showing uh, the all the rookies how it's done already and that is why how you do it and a couple of laps later already this is Max Verstappen coming into the pits already and we have recognized because Max Verstappen he just he just on the soft tires and he's refused to go on the soft tires. He he goes onto the super softs. He's in third place, by the way. And he came into the pits. This is the podium for Valtteri Bottas. In third place, I have to catch up to Valtteri Bottas, or otherwise, uh, this game over for me or, or me for this one now. With the McLaren Honda, try to go for it because even though Nick the Freeze is doing pretty well already, as you can see, there is Nick the Freeze on the replay camera. And there is Nico Hulkenberg already. He's now moved in into sixth position already. So right now, Nico Hulkenberg is trying to catch up uh, Max Verstappen. Because you can see the, the thing already. The gap between in front of me uh, is four seconds. And the gap between behind me is uh, seven seconds already. And then we move on to the second sector. Max Verstappen is catching up. 
he is catching up with the new super soft tires on lap 24 and now we move on to lap 25 uh, we're on lap 24 where we exit the lap 24 uh, and oh my god why is Max Verstappen set the fastest lap of the super soft tires and then right a couple of laps later Max Verstappen is caught up in this one and there's my teammate Fernando Alonso he has an engine failure with only three laps to go and he's nowhere near it because he had exited the final court Nico Rosberg is out he is out of the Australian Grand Prix he is the race leader I, I look at the reap oh my god he got collided with Esteban Gutierrez how was that happen I mean there's no chance already because here comes Max Verstappen he's gone around the outside we have to go defensive already this is Max Verstappen trying to get in for the podium and there's Rosberg but I can't see his car we're into the podium and right now uh, we went wide and Max Verstappen has got to go around the outside yellow flags is out I thought it was going to be a legal overtake by Max Verstappen I thought he's may going to have a penalty for this one now let's see if he has a penalty as soon as we cross the line already so Max Verstappen out of nowhere Starting in P4, had a terrible one, and finished, and he's now into third place. This is a shocking moment for the Red Bull racing driver of Max Verstappen. He never noticed already, and here it comes on the final lap, and this is the couple of laps later, and in, we're into the final lap. Lewis Hamilton is going to win the Australian Grand Prix in a Mercedes car, and it's a fantastic job for Lewis Hamilton with that Nico Rosberg getting retired, collided. With also, uh, with my, uh, Esteban Gutierrez, he could have been winning the race already, but it's not enough already. Here comes Valtteri Bottas, finishing in second place. Max Verstappen will be finished in third place. And us, and our debut for this one now as Nick De Vries, he's going to be finishing in fourth place. Fantastic start from the young Dutchman already of, uh, you know, just already, Nick De Vries already. In the McLaren Honda car, impressive victory for Mercedes. And I know it's already for someone now. It's not even the Mercedes 1 2 finish. If it was the Mercedes 1 2 finish, they could have handed a good chance already for the Mercedes to get the Constructors Championship. But it wasn't for that one, because thanks to Esteban Coutinho, who got rid of um, <laughs> for Nico Rosberg's race. He is now, Mercedes will cost the Constructors Championship lead from Williams. Now, this is going to be game on already. Because Williams are now on top of the Constructors Championship ahead of the, the one and only Mercedes. Red Bull, McLaren and of course are tied already between the Force India and of course Ferrari. If you didn't recognize already, I'll show you the score reports in about a moment so here it is the the race results already Lewis Hamilton wins with Valtteri Bottas second Max Verstappen after a terrible terrible start and crashed out along with uh, Felipe Massa has done already us in fourth Felipe Massa in fifth Nico Hulkenberg in sixth uh, Sebastian Vettel Raikkonen Perez and of course some other drivers that I couldn't remember uh, running out of that out of points already, Roman Grosjean almost getting himself a point already, along with Danny Kvyat, Kevin Magnussen, Rio Harrianto. Just and um, the co-master said, uh, Rio Harrianto won the driver of the day ahead of Pascal Vrana because he started 20th and he's doing a great job already. Right now, the drivers are all the same already, but Hamilton still leads ahead of Bottas, Verstappen, us. Uh, fourth, Felipe Massa in fifth, Nico Hulkenberg in sixth, Sebastian Vettel in seventh, Raikkonen in of course uh, eighth, and of course uh, Perez in ninth, and of course rounds up the top ten is Carlos Sainz in this whole Rosso. Uh, some of the points not too good already because Alonso, Ricardo, and Kvyat are both got the uh, Kvyat. Rosberg got DNF. They get no points already, and now we can see the constructors championship or the constructors standings. Williams leads by three points. There are 28 points and 25 points for the Mercedes. 28 points for the uh, Williams. And then Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari, Force India, Toro Rosso, 
and Salva Manor Renault and Haas did not score a points already. As you can see, the resource points is doing pretty well already. Another rivalry. Well, of course, Alonso did not get into the podium already or did not finish the race already. He now got DNF. And right now, we're actually doing pretty well against Fernando Alonso and the McLaren are impressive of Nick the Freeze already. He's now going to be the next, next McLaren young driver. He's going to do pretty well already. And we're going to ignore the, the career scores already because this is not the way you got to go for this one in career mode. Because this is where you start your own career and you can start with Dick DeVries in the McLaren. And right now, we're now finishing our race results already. And the, res the Australian Grand Prix is finished. The Bahrain Grand Prix is coming up soon. So we can check our laptops to see if we can upgrade are uh, anything and we have no points already so only we have is the engine that we got the engine power goes up to level one and i believe we may gonna be ahead of some other teams already but that is it of the australian grand prix of nick the freezes karuma if you guys enjoyed this series already don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new to my channel already and I'll let you know when the Bahrain Grand Prix starts already. And I'll see you next time for a brand new video or some more Nick DeVries career mode. See you guys.